Hey guys, how's it going? Quick video today, it's been a while. Um, just want to show you the benefits of uh, cooking large chicken breasts uh, sous vide. I tried to find the largest, thickest ones I could in the store. This is probably, I don't know, almost three quarters of a pound and I don't know, at least an inch thick. And grilling these, obviously, night, you know, enough to keep them nice and juicy is obviously quite a chore. You got to use really low heat, takes forever. I don't know, I don't want to deal with that. But anyway, I'm just going to make a real quick recipe. Um, not much involved on the ingredients side as they are already pre made. Uh, but basically, all I have here is two large chicken breasts and some uh, jerk sauce, which is uh, really, really good. It's from a local restaurant here in Chicago. Uh, you, can, you can visit them at uh, Chicago and Halstead. It's called uh, Jerk Modern Grill. Anyway, they sell their own sauce, and it's one of my favorite sauces. It's the Rude Grill sauce. So go ahead and uh, check out the link. You can buy it from Amazon, actually, now, which I was just informed. So I figured, hey, why not give them some props to one of my favorite restaurants in town? And uh, anyway, so all we're going to do here is uh, put our chicken breasts in a vacuum bag and uh, coat them up. Pretty much it. Um, currently have my bath set at 145 degrees. Now 145 degrees is basically medium doneness for white meat, okay? Uh, you see some people say, oh, you should do it to 160, whatever. Well, I'm, I'm cooking this for two hours, so it's going to be fine. Um, for dark meat, like legs, thighs, wings, things like that, 160 is definitely the preferred temperature. Um, it breaks down the connective tissue. Form. There's a lot more found on the dark meat than the white meat. White meat's kind of just like a tenderloin almost, you know, if you're relating this to steak. So it just needs to be brought to temperature rather than broken down. Um, so 160 for dark meat, 145 is my preferred temperature for white meat. So we're just coating these up, we're gonna vacuum seal them, and then when the two hours is up, we're just gonna finish them on the grill real quick show you how nice and easy and delicious grilled chicken can be when prepared this way. So that being said, I'm going to slash this around, maybe get the other side coated a little better and uh, get it vacuum sealed and then we're going to drop it in my 145 degree water bath. Okay, as you can see, we're all vacuum sealed up, just going to plop it in. And I will come back in two hours to show you the grilled finished product. Okay, two hours is up and our chicken is done. We're just going to dry it off now and uh, throw it on the grill for maybe a minute or two each side. We just want to get a little char on there. Nothing crazy. So, there we go. Smells delicious. Never had jerk chicken before, definitely give it a try. It's savory, it's sweet, it's very spicy, but it's delicious. Okay, just gonna go ahead and pat these dry. Try and keep most of the seasoning on there as that will caramelize nicely on the grill. So I'm just patting it dry, not wiping it. Uh, got my grill fired up to maximum temperature and I'm going to go ahead and throw these out there and I will show you what that looks like here in a second. Okay, we're all done grilling. Got the little marks on here. Anyway, uh, just did about two minutes aside. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I'm just going to cut it open now and show you the inside. Show you how nice and pretty and juicy that is. Oh my God, juice dripping. Okay, you can kind of see the glistening of the uh, chicken here. But anyway, it's perfectly cooked all the way through. Exactly 
perfect. So when you have these nice thick cuts of meat, this is a great way to do it. Comes out nice and juicy. If I tried to grill this thing, I was thinking of doing like a comparison video and grilling another uh, another chicken breast just beside it to show you the difference in how it would turn out, but I'm not gonna do that. But anyway, you can see here how nice and juicy the chicken comes out. And it's got amazing jerk flavor on it. So thanks for watching. Just a quick video. Figure it's still grilling season here for at least another month or so. So give this a try and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, be sure to check out the Rude Girl sauce from uh, the link I provide. And uh, it's delicious. It's really, really good. If you like spicy stuff, it's excellent. So thank you again for watching. And again, if you're interested in any of the equipment I use today, hit the show more button and there's information there where you can obtain it. Thank you again.